We are now on the south coast of Kangaroo Island by Seal Bay. So this is Alfie. He's been at this wildlife park for about 10 years now. No, like, it's like Mickey. It's literally licking the camera. Oh no, it's got slubber marks on it. This is me and I'm currently in South Australia because recently I've been in Adelaide for the Australian three day event. So I've been filming over there and I've also been filming with an Olympic event rider, Megan Jones up at her yard. So be sure to check out those two videos after this one if you haven't already. So today's video is gonna be very exciting because I'm actually going to Kangaroo Island. So obviously it's called Kangaroo Island. So I'm hoping to see some kangaroos and apparently it's known for lots of other wildlife as well, such as koalas, They've got a bay full of seals, so that'll be really cute to see. So I'm just about to head up, go on this ferry, so I'll see you on the boat. of Kangaroo Island by Seal Bay and pretty much we're as south as you can get over here. If you carry on going south across the ocean you're going to get to the Antarctic and it's quite funny because a few weeks back I was actually in Iceland and I was saying pretty much the same thing apart from if you carry on going north you're going to get to the Arctic. So here at Seal Bay there are so many seals. with a ranger and this is pretty much one of the only places in the world that you can get so close up to the Australian sea lion especially as they're now an endangered species especially as one of their huge largest threats is actually um, commercial fishing so it was really nice to see such a huge and healthy population of um, the Australian sea lions and they were just so adorable. It was so lovely. We saw some of the mothers that had the pups that were like suckling. It was just so cute. And also the mothers, actually, they go out into the ocean for days on end, getting loads and loads of food, and then they come back and then they feed their pups. So that was really cute to see. We also saw some of the males as well, a few of them sort of, um, not fighting, but sort of showing their dominance. So that was really really cool to see as well and it was just amazing because you just looked across the seal bay and there were just seals absolutely everywhere. Marks on it. 
You're looking. So while I'm here on Kangaroo Island, something I want to do for so long is be able to get really close to these beautiful animals, these koalas. So I've actually come to the Kangaroo Island Wildlife Park. So here they take in orphaned koalas, rehabilitate them, and because they're so used to humans, they absolutely love the attention. So let's go cuddle a koala. So this is Alfie, he's been at this wildlife park for about 10 years now. He was orphaned, so they took him on as a baby when he was an orphan. And he's probably, he's, they were saying that he's probably one of their favorites. He's very chill today, he's probably still half asleep. And he's loving the cuddles and the attention. Oh, you can see the leaf. Oh, how about these leaves? Is that what you <laughs> wanted instead? No, you just want cuddles to oh. So all of the koalas here at the Kangaroo Island Wildlife Park actually have actually been here since they were babies, since they were orphans. So they've had human contact pretty much from the start. So Alfie here seems very comfortable being here in my arms. He's very relaxed. He's actually a little bit sleepy right now. So I think he's actually starting to enjoy some of these um, leaves at the moment, which is good. The most similar thing I can sort of describe to holding a koala is a bit like holding a sort of medium-sized dog. He's actually a bit heavier than I was expecting. He's about 13, 14 kilograms. And yeah, he's um, a bit heavier than I was expecting, but he's really fluffy as well. And that's because he's one of the island sort of koalas. So he's got a bit of a thicker coat because it just gets a little bit colder here, especially in the winter. And he's actually shedding a bit because it's now coming into Australia's summer. So he's getting his summer coat. And yeah, he is really fluffy and just really warm and cuddly. <laughs> so I've just finished having a little cuddle with Alfie and he's now gone back into his enclosure, which is actually a different one to the one we have here. So his isn't accessible to the public. So the koalas get their downtime, their time alone. So um, these guys, again, were orphaned, um, but were looked after by carers, but not the carers here. And they've been taken to this place, so they're looked after really well. Um, they actually have so many different types of species of eucalyptus that they like to eat because they are picky eaters. Like some days they'll like some leaves, some days they're like, mm, nah, not today. Uh, so here we actually have a joey, which is a baby koala. And this one's about 15 months old and she is so cute. And the way to tell the difference between a female and a male koala is that the male koalas tend to have this sort of yellow liquid or staining on their chest. And it smells a little bit like grapefruit as well that, that I noticed, so that's pretty cool. But it's also got these sort of musky undertones as well. Um, so at the moment the koalas are just having a bit of a chill, a bit of a sleep, because they actually spend 20 hours of a 24 hour day sleeping. So they spend a lot of time asleep and the rest are eating these eucalyptus leaves. I'm here with Indy and she is a common wombat who is currently fallen asleep in my arms. She's very sweet. So she was also um, an orphan that was brought here and has been handled since she was a baby. So she's very used to human contact. She actually went to a um, different sort of wildlife place and apparently she wasn't getting enough sort of human contact. So she's back here where she's a lot happier getting cuddles. Hello. Oh, she's so cute. So wombats are one of the very few animals here in Australia that actually burrow. So she has little claws um, to burrow with. And something quite interesting that um, wombats and koalas both have a pouch, but it's upside down compared to, or inside out compared to a um, kangaroo. So there's a little pouch down there. So with koalas actually, um, the reason why they have the little pouch down here is so then that the baby koalas can eat the mum's poo, which is a little bit disgusting, but they need to do that um, to get all the sort of um, gut bacteria. So then when they eat in the future, it's all good. And then um, the reason why wombats pouches all the way down here rather than further up is because when they're burrowing, they don't want to get all the dust and mud in there as well. And she also has quite sharp teeth, a bit like a rodent, so she needs to eat um, or have a little chew on things like hardwoods and rocks just to make sure they don't get too long. So yeah, I think she's very much enjoying the cuddles. Oh, are you waking up? Yeah? She's like, oh, big stretch. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Indy. Yeah. Oh, very chillaxed. <laughs> So Indy has now again fallen asleep and something she likes to do apparently is snuggle into people's armpits. I think it's probably because it's like a nice little dark and warm sort of nook. But yeah, she's definitely put her little nose in there and she seems really comfortable and relaxed. And yeah, are you liking that? 
So Indy here is quite a bit heavier compared to Alfie. She's about 22 kilos. So that's why I'm currently sitting down on a bench because she's probably weighs about the same as a sack of horse feed. So that's quite heavy, especially if you're holding a wombat for a long time and I don't want to drop her. So that's why I'm sitting down. So yeah, I think it's now time to put her back in her enclosure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> really likes that armpit. <laughs> Okay guys, I've had an absolutely fantastic time here on Kangaroo Island. I think my highlight definitely has to be the wildlife because being an island, being away from the mainland, there is just so much wildlife here. Like the other morning I woke up, was having my breakfast and there were just two kangaroos just hopping on by. So yeah, it's been pretty wild. I've had so much fun. I definitely think another highlight was watching the seals being so up close to them, especially as they're an endangered species as well it was just so beautiful to see as well as getting to hold the koala as well Alfie and the wombat Indy they were just so cute and fluffy and just loved the attention and the cuddles as well so my time here at Kangaroo Island has now come to a close I'm gonna be leaving soon on the boat now so I'm kind of sad to say goodbye but also really excited for the um future adventures that I'm going to be having here in Australia. So next stop is off to the Barrier Reef.